So I'm pulling a fancy Friday today. Okay, so I'm trying to save my fiddle wheel. Good morning. Happy Friday. Welcome back to the vlog. It is 8.03 a.m. I'm just literally climbing out of bed. Open my work laptop and I'm trying to think of like what all I need to do today for work and what I like to do or what I've been doing that's really been helping me the, helping me this week is I have been blocking off my calendar so this is kind of weird. I feel like I have to zoom in because I don't think it's fair for you guys to like see everybody else's stuff. So I don't even know how to like hold hold on. Sorry about that. So what I was saying is I'm getting ready to do work and one thing that's been helping me this week, because I'm kind of all over the place just naturally, like just very free spirited. It's just difficult for me to stay like on task and do things like da, 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 da. Um, I'm really good at processes, but like keeping track of my time really sucks. So what I've been doing this past week is just blocking time off on my calendar uh, to do things. Ooh. And it's been super helpful actually. So I'm gonna add a little thing right here because I need to do something today. So prayerfully today will be kind of an easy and relaxed day for me. Um, I think everybody's still already online. I'm super tired this morning. I did not actually go to sleep until probably after 12 last night because so much happened yesterday. Well, not a lot, but um, the NFL draft was yesterday. And if you guys didn't know, I'm a two-time alum of the University of Alabama, Roll Tide. Yes, they educated me. It's actually a really good school. The state can be a little backwards, but the school itself is really good. Um, I have two business degrees, although I'm trying to make a career change from supply chain over into human resources because I just feel like my... My natural skills are very heavy in the soft skills sector. So like communication, interpersonal um, relationships, things like that. And so I'm trying to leave supply chain and go into human resources. So it's been a little tough as of late. But um, the Steelers, I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. They drafted Najee Harris last night. And my, I was asleep, y'all. I was tired. I had kind of a tough week this week. And one of my friends sent me... I don't have cable, so I couldn't watch the draft. And one of my friends sent me um, like a little clip. She sent me a clip on Instagram and she's like, look. And I was already in bed. And I try not to like go on social media and stuff after a certain time. And I looked at it anyway. And I saw it. I'm so sorry. I saw it and I literally like jumped up and was screaming in bed last night and then my I was just so excited like ah, we got Nash yes like ah. super super excited and then my friend she's celebrating her birthday basically for the past like week she went out last night and she was telling us some funny stuff so it was just it was a long night last night and then Shelly, formerly known as Jam, he dropped a new album last night. It's good. If you haven't listened to it, you should go listen to it. Um, so yeah, I'm up. Looks like everybody's online. I need to send an email, but I also need to shower. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send this email and then I'm going to go take a shower and put on some clothes. shower fully dressed 
I don't know, you guys wanna see my outfit? I'm not really big on the outfit stuff, but here is what I'm wearing. I got these shorts from Nasty Gal last summer, hence the fact that they are a little tight in the waist now because your girl has put on some quarantine weight. This top is just from um, a New Day brand. You can get it at Target. Slippers are from Target. So yeah, this is the first day in like, I don't know, maybe months that I've actually put on real clothes. I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm thinking about doing, like putting clothes on every Friday. I follow this influencer called Alicia Tanise. Tanae, I'm not sure, I think it's Tanise. I'll link her in the description box. But at the beginning of, oh, my belt. At the beginning, or like maybe the middle of quarantine last year, she was doing this thing called Fancy Fridays. And so like she would actually put on clothes on Fridays. So I'm pulling a Fancy Friday today. Um, I will probably wear this outfit sometime next week. Um, I would also like to say, Dallas, honey, what you doing, girl? It's cloudy, it's wet, it's rainy. It's been like this all week. I'm not here for it. The plant's not here for it. I'm losing leaves off my fiddle leaf and off my monstera. My lemon tree's not growing like I thought they would grow. My aloe vera is barely there. Thank God for my snake plant. She's the only one coming through. I still have this project to finish. Don't worry about that. Um, but what was I saying? I was saying I just got an email. So crazy, I get offended when people like email me. But this was to the entire company. Um, this is the third email this week letting us know that somebody's leaving the company. And then I think we had two last week. So a lot of shifting, a lot of changing. The only thing that comes to my mind now is like, what is it? I think it's like hip hop, that hip hop bear, like who's next? Go, 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 go. So I feel like, I feel like that's where we're at, but my manager just called me and I had to come out of the bathroom, butt naked, obviously camera off, but I'm over here putting on my toner and she's calling me, telling me, explaining me and giving me the history as to why she added this specific department to the emails later on in a thread and I'm just like okay girl like I'll just hit reply all throw them on there and attach the list like I'll, it, your phone call your three minute phone call could have been a 40 second email I don't know um yeah so here we are back on track ready to get to work. And I have a hard five o'clock stop today. It's Friday and I'm shutting my computer down this weekend. So, and I don't normally do that. I normally just let it go to sleep, but I'm shutting, shutting her down, shutting her down this weekend. So um, I'm gonna do some work for a little while and I will check in with you guys a little bit later this afternoon. Okay, I just remembered I keep wet wipes in my car. So, I do this and then. So I'm done with work for the day. My goodness, when I tell you guys the last like two hours of, of work were just unnecessary. Ugh. It's just, I don't know. I think coming from like a really, really large corporate company where they really value like summer Fridays, which is basically like, everybody just works really super hard during the week and people either would work from home on the week, on Friday, or they would just kind of like dip out of the office early. Like they would get all their work done and just leave like around one or two. And now my new job, I don't know if it's because I work for a smaller company or what it is, I really don't know, but people are, were still online. like. I didn't get offline until almost 6 o'clock, and it is currently 
And it's just like, I'm not used to this type of life. You know what I mean? Like, I'm used to working legit. Like, I don't mind working more hours during the week. Like, I'm used to not closing my laptop until like 6 or 6.30 during the week. But when it hits a Friday, like, no way. And it just is not making sense to me. So, I got some new masks. I keep masks in my car. That way... I don't ever forget any when I'm going in the store. So I just got some new masks and I gathered up all the trash that was in. I didn't have a lot of trash, but I just gathered it up and I'll dump it in the dumpster when I get back. And so I'm on my way. I think, I think I'm going to Walmart. I don't really like to shop at Walmart, but they honestly just have the best prices on commodities. So think like Q-tips, cotton balls, paper towels, all that kind of stuff. They just have like the best price. Although I love shopping at Target. Like that's where I get my groceries from or either an actual grocery store. I just feel like the stuff that I'm gonna go pick up today is like lots of dried goods and like stuff for the house. And then I'll go act like legit grocery shopping for cold stuff and like um, poultry, fish, vegetables, fruits, all of that in the morning. Um, and I'll probably go to like Target and, and a local grocery, not a local grocery store, but a grocery store. Um, so we'll see. Okay, I'll check in with you guys when I get either at the store or when I get back. Okay, so I just got done picking up some groceries at Walmart. I came to a new Walmart. I've never been over here. It's by the airport on Lemon if you're in Dallas. And it's actually the cleanest Walmart I've ever been in. It's also the quietest Walmart I've ever been in. It is smaller though, so it's not like a super Walmart. Um, you can definitely tell that the assortment is limited. But I think that this is maybe like a predominantly Latin Hispanic area. And so they have a lot of like Latin and Hispanic items, which I found really cool because, y'all yeah, know, I'm from Alabama. And even though we have like Latin American and Hispanic people there, our Walmarts and like a lot of our stores don't necessarily cater to our demographic, which I think is unfortunate. But I know stores like they have like specific stores that cater to specific um, demographics. And this one caters to the Latin community. And I got a few things. So I'm excited. I think I got some spices. Um, and I got something else. I don't know what it was, but I just saw it. And I was like, this looks interesting. Like, I want to try it. Oh, it was ramen. They have like a picante chicken ramen. And I was like, I've never seen this before. I normally always just get the regular chicken ramen. But I was like, let me try this because it's going to be a little spicier. And so I got some of that and just like all the other stuff I needed. Not all the other stuff, but all the other like dried goods or like normal commodity goods that I can get like basically anywhere that I don't have any concerns about um, so I picked all those up tonight and then tomorrow I am gonna go to Target early and get like my groceries and then I'm probably gonna have to go to the Kroger down the road from my apartment and get some fresh shrimp because I think I want to do I couldn't find any andouille sausage to do like kind of like um like a Cajun style shrimp boil kind of thing. So you need potatoes, corn, shrimp, and sausage. I actually never eat the corn when I like order those out anywhere. And so I'm just gonna get the potatoes, the shrimp, and the sausage. Um, I got all the seasonings, so. But I got food. Um, I don't really want to like go to like McDonald's or well I really don't eat McDonald's let me be serious I had Chick-fil-A yesterday and I don't really feel like stopping at Chick-fil-A or Chipotle or Whataburger again today so I got some food that I'm just gonna go home and eat probably nothing too serious I picked up some hot dogs I know some people really don't like hot dogs but I like hot dogs so I got myself some hot dogs and I'll probably have hot dogs tonight but that's what's going on. I will check in with you guys when I get home. 
Um, I'm just over here watching a little bit of YouTube and I'm getting ready to put all my laundry away. Um, and I'm gonna try and edit some old footage. Um, but yeah, so this is a wrap up to Friday. I'm feeling a little bit better, but I'm also like feeling not, I, now I'm starting to worry about other things, which I really shouldn't, but overall today was a good day. So I'm gonna take it for what it is and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning. It is 6.37, 6.38 on a Saturday. I did not expect to be up at this time, but I am. I have some things to do today, so first and foremost, I'm trying to develop a routine for myself, and I think my routine needs some body movement. I have put on 10 pounds since this whole panna cotta, and uh, I don't like it. It's all just in my gut. I feel like my joints are super stiff, so I'm gonna turn on like a stretching video and then do like maybe a 10, 15 minute workout circuit. Then I'm gonna take the $5 gift card from Starbucks that I got from work and go get myself a matcha oat milk latte. And then I'm gonna do a big target run and then come home and I've got some friends that are coming over that are about to help, that will help with um, the party set up for tomorrow. We got balloons. We got to make a balloon arch. So we're going to do that over here. And then I also have to do laundry, taxes, edit some vlog footage, maybe write a blog post, order candle inventory. I got a lot to do today and... I just need to do it. I just have to be disciplined and I had to get my done. So that's what we're gonna do now. And I'll take you with me for as long as I can remember. So, <laughs> but I'm about to start working out now. have ordered either something very specific or they just ordered a lot of it because it took them so long to order and then now we're I've been at the window waiting behind them for at least five minutes so they must have gotten several drinks several breakfast sandwiches like my goodness so I just all I wanted was a hot matcha latte and I'm one car away from getting it and then my gift card was only for five dollars so I don't have any I don't have any cash or any change on me, so now I gotta swipe for the 57 cent. Uh, I'm just glad I got here when I did because it's 8.07 now and the line's starting to get long. And the one that I go to, I go to the Starbucks on Oak Lawn. It's in a good spot, but it's also in a bad spot because if you know, Oak Lawn is like two lanes this way, two lanes that way. And so people just like, yeah, they ordered like seven drinks. All right, I um, should get mine now. Just made it back home. Um, I went to Target and Trader Joe's. Uh, if you guys have not listened to Shelly, formerly known as Dram's newest album, he just dropped an album. And I have been playing Remedies on repeat. So if you haven't listened to it, you should go listen to it. 
Uh, my friends are on the way. I'm so glad I said that because that reminded me to get all of the party stuff. So we are doing a balloon arch uh, for the party and we got to put it together. I've never made a balloon arch before. My friend Benika is on her way because she is the balloon arch queen. Amber is on her way because she's just really good at helping. And so we are going to do this balloon arch. We're also going to keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't like deflate by in the morning. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't know. I got all the like tablecloths and stuff. Kiana dropped all this stuff off like a month ago, I swear. Um, maybe it was actually a few weeks ago, but I've got everything here. She has like the fresh flowers. And then we also have some artificial flowers for decor as well. Um, what is this box? Is there anything in here? Okay, sweet. There's nothing in here, but this is for me to like, this is for me to carry everything tomorrow over to the center, the clubhouse. So yeah. Um, what else? I also picked up, I went a little crazy at Trader Joe's today on the flowers. Normally I only get hydrangeas or roses and maybe a little bit of filler. I have hydrangeas and roses and filler and ranunculi. I don't know if it's, I think it's ranunculi when I'm talking about multiple, but I just, I love this flower. I've just grown to love it. It's so pretty. And so I'm gonna put together just like a little thing, see what we can do with these and maybe like one hydrangea piece and then I'll use the rest of these in the vases tomorrow. Oh, I forgot. This is like my new favorite thing, the Crespedia. Aren't these the cutest? They're like these little pom-pom balls almost, but they're real, like they're live. So I'm excited to incorporate these as well. I wish I would have gotten a little more greenery because I think it needs a little bit more greenery, but this is just gonna be a very bright and beautiful bouquet today. Um, I love fresh flowers. I'm a big fan of fresh flowers. That's just like my groove and my vibe. I treat myself typically once a week to fresh flowers, but I haven't had them in a while because I've been out of town and I didn't want to like waste them. So I also just picked up a birthday card for my Aunt Marilyn. And then I picked up a Mother's Day card because Mother's Day weekend is next weekend. Uh, my mom is still being very cautious because of the panorama that we're in. So we're just gonna do something virtually, even though I had like originally booked a flight and she's like, cancel it, you don't need to come, let's wait until things like cool off. She just doesn't want me around her if I've been like around a lot of other people. So when you think about it, like you're on a plane, like it's okay, we're gonna do all of our stuff virtually. Uh, but right now I'm getting ready to just unpack my little roller caddy and my groceries and just waiting for the girls to get here so we can do the balloon arch. Not like a crackhead. It's looking cute. I'd add some peach in there. Yeah, and some white. Uh, peach and white. Or a little bright yellow is too hot. It is. No, 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 no. You did it right. We're working on the balloon arch. Okay, so I'm trying to save my fiddle leaf. I have to repot her because she has like a bacterial infection. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, it's really like affecting her leaves. So, I read online that there's probably, there's like no drainage or something. So I got another pot 
and I'm gonna repot her. This is the first time I'm repotting her in a year and I'm terrified. So we shall see. Oh man, that's not what I thought was going to happen. Felicia has been fully repotted. Let's say a prayer over her as you guys can see. She has lost several. Let me take this camera off the tripod. Okay. I don't know if you all could see, but she has lost like one, two, like five leaves in the past like two weeks. Or actually the past two days. There are there are all five leaves. Um but yeah, I just Googled like what was wrong with my fiddle leaf and it was like brown spots on the leaves is probably a bacterial infection since it's not coming from like the actual node and the root. So yeah, they were just falling off. So fingers crossed that the rest of them will stay. There's one back here. She's just like really struggling. I don't know if you guys can see her, but that one back there, maybe I can save her. Maybe she'll just have a little scar, but I haven't gotten a new leaf in a little while. And maybe it's because of this. This one's getting a little spotted too. You guys can see that. But this is my little plant collection that I'm trying to take care of. This is Moana the Monstera. This one, this one, and this one, they're all lemon trees. Um, I'm propagating from my Monstera, so we'll see. This is actually, I've gotten two leaves since I've put this one in there, so it's doing really well. I'm just going to have to get a, a pot for it soon so I can actually put it in there and then in the pot and let it grow and then some aloe vera. I've had this little, this little succulent from Trader Joe's for almost a year now. And so the fact that she is not dead is amazing to me because she used to live in this pot and didn't have any drainage. So I think her growth might have been slightly stunted, but I think she's doing a lot better. Um, I think she could use a little water today. But yeah, if anybody knows how to like keep plants alive, let me know. I'm trying to grow my little my little jungle and forest here, but it's, it's struggling. I'm still surprised I've been able to keep this fiddle leaf for over a year when I got it, it was like this tall. So it has definitely grown, but <sighs> she's got some more work to do. Um, let me show you guys the balloon arch because I think that's worth showing. So Amber and Vaughn came over and they put it together. I kind of just supervised. Uh, you can't tell because of the lighting in here, but okay, this is much better. This is how it actually looks. A little bit of gray, some like light butter yellow, normal yellow, little peach, little white. So it is actually massive, but my closet is massive. It's basically a second bedroom. So, you know, I think Kiana will like it. I sent her a picture of it. So she said she loves it. So all we have to do tomorrow is just put it up. So that is what's going on here. I am about to clean up my balcony because it has potting soil all over it. And then I gotta do my taxes because I haven't done them yet. And the deadline, like the extension ends next week. So I'd much rather just go ahead and get them done. Hopefully I'll get a refund this year. We'll see what happens. 
Um, but yeah, and then afterwards I'm gonna cook some, probably like an early, oh shoot, I'm going to dinner. So this will be like a late lunch that I'm gonna cook today. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited to cook it. I'm not really excited to cook it. I don't know why I said that. Like, that's a lie. I'm not excited to cook this. Um, but I am excited to eat it. So <laughs> I think that's what it is. But I will check in with you guys a little bit later because right now I'm not doing anything worth vlogging. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm having dinner. Hi. Oh, look at that. Hi, thank you. Oh, that's cute. Here I say hey to the vlog. I'm vlogging again. Hey, hey to the vlog. It's my birthday. Yay. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. I'm about to make a post of champagne, mommy. Cheers. 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 Cheers to my girl's birthday. Cheers. We're getting close. We're getting close. We can't reach. It is almost my birthday, y'all. We gotta be somewhere at 12. Thank you. Thank you. I totally forgot to vlog today. Today's Sunday. And that's okay. My We did my friend's brunch. Um, it took a little longer than what we had expected to do. And I'm currently just soaking in the tub right now. But I'm going to wash up and get out in just a little bit. Sorry this vlog was all over the place, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!